Let's have a look at the intro to Passenger. I'm playing it finger style. The guitar is in standard tuning. I have a capo on the seventh fret. Uh, I'm using a thumb pick. Um, that's just something I like. Some people hate them. The chords, and we're going to talk about these relative to the capo. Uh, an F. Now, the way I'm playing this F is... Sorry, incidentally, I'm going to refer to this as fret 1 now, which is actually the 8th fret. Um, but the chord shape involves me using my thumb over the top to fret this note. So I'm playing 2nd um, string, 1st fret. Then my middle finger is playing on the 3rd string at the 2nd fret. My ring finger is playing on the 4th string at the 3rd fret. My thumb is coming up and playing the 6th string at the 1st fret. pinky at times will, or at one stage, will actually reach up and play this note and pull it off. And the other thing is that my middle finger will hammer down with that third string. Anyway, there's our F chord to start with. The next chord is a, a G, or a variation on a G. What I'm going to do with that, or to play that, is my ring, place my ring finger on string 6, fret 3. Remember, this is relative to the capo. Uh, and I'm going to put my pinky on string 2, at fret 3. Then the next chord shape... So to play this chord shape, uh, I have an open fifth string. My middle finger is on string four, fret two. My ring finger is on string three, fret two. My index finger is on string two, fret one. And the first string is open. And then we're back to that G shape. So we have F, As I said, that's relative to the fur, to the capo. The actual pitch of these notes would make that a C chord, a D chord, and an E minor chord back to a D chord. That's confusing. Uh, we'll talk about capo theory and everything else another time. Now, for, as far as my right hand technique goes, essentially I'm using my index finger to play notes on string three my middle finger to play any notes on string two, and my ring finger to play any notes on string one. My thumb is going to alternate between the bass lines. So on this first chord shape, I'm going between strings six and four. Like that. Uh, I tend to mute slightly. I use this part of my hand to do so. Muting the bass allows me to separate the parts a little bit more, but also, uh, perhaps not with this so much, but in other songs, give the illusion that something else is happening. I have two guitars playing. Uh, so yeah, on that chord, doing that. The G, you don't have to worry about that. So we just have that little shape there. Now, incidentally, when we're playing these sorts of things, what I'd recommend is, wherever possible, hold down the notes for the chord and let them ring for as long as you possibly can. Even if they bleed into other notes, with the acoustic guitar it helps with the sustain uh, and that's a good thing. Sustain drops off very quickly and um, the guitar can sound a little bit thin and scratchy if we don't do that. Okay, the next chord shape is an A minor. Now I'm going to play that. With a hammer, I'm playing the 
fifth string. And at the same time, I'm actually going to hammer down. to the second fret of the third string and then pinch these two notes. The bass line for the A minor is going between strings five and four. Okay so this next little part, let me start that again. Um, so I'm doing that. So, and then the next one is this. Now here I will alternate the bass. I'm going to play string six, then string five. Uh, and there's a pinch there, so strings five and two, sorry, six and two, then four, three, and then that little thing again, that little melody. But this time I'm including this note in there as well. Then we're back to this. Now there, uh, I've, I'm playing the sixth string with my thumb. I'm going to play the open uh, third string and hammer on to the second fret with my middle finger. And then play this, which is strings four and two. Now this next little part, I need to, he plays this melody note up here, which is on the third fret, first string, you play that with your pinky and you pull away. Now I've taken my other fingers off so you can see clearly what I'm doing there, but I'm actually going to do it while I'm holding this shape. Now the tricky part with this is making sure that the inside of these fingers is not actually laying across those strings because you'll choke it. Uh, depending on the neck of your guitar and the length of your fingers and how used you, used you are to playing with your um, your thumb over the top, that can be a little bit tricky. So you might need to work on that a little bit with finding the best position for your hand to be able to play that chord shape cleanly. But oh, I just did it there. Also play that, uh, that, that pull off, so that it rings out cleanly as well. Then the next chord shape is this. It's based off this idea with the G, G shape, but we're starting with our um, index finger on string two, fret one. playing this little melody. And then back to this A minor. etc. See how you go with that, there'll be some tab as well included.